games already in the books in this series, we can only expect the intensity to continue to ramp up in game number three. Two teams looking starved for a win, and we are set to go. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Oh, right off the cage. The Jets will play it in their own end. And here's the pass to Malardi. Shifley's got it in the offensive zone. Moves it to the middle, and that doesn't connect. Georgiev's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still no score in this one. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Poked away at center by Connor. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. mccarr has got the puck in his own zone. The one-time rocket makes the save on the slapper. Craig Reed comes up with it. And that's off the glove and will play on. Georgiev's in the right spot at the right time. Just a brilliant save. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Coughs it up on the play. The Jets are across the line and into the offensive end. The Avalanche have the puck in their own zone. Taves has it in the defensive end. Shot! What a stop right there! Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck now. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. He was locked in there. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice, is in the slot area. He's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. And a strong effort on that play. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Georgiev's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. The Jets will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Poked away in the neutral zone by Pion. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. Made that stop, and it's kicked away. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Broken up by Appleton. Quick feed to Johansson. Receives the pass. Puts it on there. Easily turned away by the goaltender. Georgiev's gonna hang on for a whistle. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The game is still scoreless. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. The Avs have it from their own end. Moves it up. And he slides it quickly to Cogliano. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Handles the pass. Perfetti's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a shot, and that will stop. Here's a short pass to Wagner. Georgiev made a big save early in the frame here, and that's really important to reset and refocus coming off a low loss in that playoff game. Important to really find a way to gain that confidence and composure and get a good start. And a solid stop on the play there. Grabbed along the board by Dillon. Quick pass across to Barron. Moves the puck along the half wall. Fires it on it. Scores! Perfectly positioned to bury the rebound. This is actually a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. 
The Jets land the game's first goal here in the first half of the opening frame. Well, yeah, and I really like their game, James. It's not just about getting on the board first, but I like the way they've established a forecheck and they've held possession. I think they've done a real good job. They've got a consistent effort. Now they've got to find a way to finish the back half of this period the same way. Made the stop on that play. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Takes the puck, but still hangs on to the puck. Moves it to McCarr. Retreats with the puck inside the defensive zone. And they send it right back to him. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Kellebuck's known around the league for being solid between the pipes. He'll look to live up to that reputation. McKinnon's hard to shove off the puck. That's his unstoppable force zone ability. I'll be watching closely to see if one of those players can give their team the edge. Now back to you. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Jets lead it 1-0. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And that's blocked. Handles the puck. Moves it to the middle. Blocked shot. And a quick little stick with and comes up with a turnover. Puck grabbed by Rantanen. They go on the attack from the left side. Great reach by Lekanen. Here's a shot. Stopped by Hillebuck. Foul along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Sandberg. Quick pass to Rantanen. And he takes the feed. Winnipeg's got the puck against the boards. And loses possession after a solid hit. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face off. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. and we are back underway here. The Jets move to the offensive zone. And he loses control here. Here's a shot. And that one's denied. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. More than half the frame has been played here. The Jets have taken a 1-0 lead. Winnipeg's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Back at the point, they set it up. Blast from the blue line. Denies him. He got all of it. Colorado's got possession of the puck. Gains the zone from the right side. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Winnipeg's been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck, and when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But it has to translate to something. This is still a close game. And he takes the feed. Oh, denies him with the paddle save! And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Nemestikov. Barons gain the line and on the attack. Picked up along the boards by Johnson. Slick feed. Quick feed to Perfetti. Here we go, pucks in deep. Here's a short pass to O'Connor. The rebound there to be had, and they made no mistake about tucking that one home. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Past the midway mark of the frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. And that's it is simply by O'Connor. Here's a chance. Oh, wow, what a pass saved by Hillebuck. Picked up along the wall by Connor. Moves it to Colton. Dumps it in, and they'll skate off for a change. Quick pass to Connor. 
and somehow he hangs on. That opportunity is rejected. And that's deflected off someone in front. He might have a step here. Oh, and I'm not really sure what happened there. It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do, and in the interim, he ran out of space. Colorado's got the puck at center. Here's a shot. Straight up the middle, here they come. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Answer the call on that play. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Rips it on in, he scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you gotta get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Smart play by the shooter here. The presence of mind to recognize that there's a lot of traffic and put it to the net. And the goaltender, I mean, he can't see this puck, James. We can't see where it is with all of these bodies net front, and it finds the back of the net. The Avs take the lead after that last goal. Sure, what do you wait for here now? Do you uh, do you anticipate the counter punch or do you look for the continued push attack? Uh, you got to continue to push attack. There is way too much runway left in this game, James. You're in the first period. You got to find a way to continue to compete, continue to maintain the momentum, and put your opponent on their heels. Gives them nothing in front, and they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. In the final moments of this period. The Avs have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Winnipeg's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. Oh, big time hit along the wall. And this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. Cogliano's taking it from his own end. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. And now he moves it quickly to Cogliano. Oh, what a hit against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Slides it over with pace to Gerard. He carries the puck up along the wing. Takes a shot. Too much traffic in the lane. Stopped by the goaltender. The Jets have it now. Taken along the wall by Lowry. Hellebuck's been a real workhorse for his team tonight, James. Right from puck drop, he's been under siege, and he's been so dialed in and giving his team an opportunity to get the W. Puts it in deep. Winnipeg's looking to break out. And now he tries to get it across to Barron. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. And now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift is critical. We get to the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. Here in the late goings of the period, it's all tied up. The Avs win the faceoff at center. Colorado's on the attack. Sends the feet in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. the draw they win possession. Moves it quickly over to Ehlers. Along the half wall with the puck. And makes the save. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Drew is gaining momentum. He's got a step. He's stuck on the play here. Well, on the breakaway, it's all about the first fake, and he does a great job there, but the goaltender doesn't bite, and as a result, makes the save. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Monaghan's 
won the draw inside his own end. There's the end of period number one. Both teams can grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. set to drop the puck here on period number two. You can tell in for a good one because almost every fan is in their seats here as we are still tied with the second getting underway. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Jets are lucky that this game is tied, James. I mean, they've had the minority of the shots and really haven't found a way to get to the interior of the ice. They're going to have to pay the price somewhere if they want to get some shots and make this game a game want to look at this last save again James because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness athleticism and desperation and urgency in your game you know that goaltending coach they can't just teach this this is instinctual and this is what winners are made of lots of time left in this period we got a tie game and they win the draw here in their own end sends the pass over Shifley's into the offensive zone now on the attack Off by Rantanen. Great use of the stick at center by Shifley. Oh, to make the save of the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. And Cheryl, listen to these stats here. They are getting loud. Some of them are getting on their feet here still, applauding that save we saw. James, I think it's the appreciation for the desperation save to complete the will to keep that puck out of the net, and they're really showing him the love. And tries to make a diagonal pass to DeMello. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Colorado's got the win off that draw. Winnipeg's got it from behind the net. The Avalanche have the puck in the defensive zone. Shot! Todd save! He's on it tonight. Quick pass to Pion. Quick feed to Ehlers. Takes the puck. Stones him in front. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. Good read with the stick to break that up. Here's a short pass to Manson. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. The Jets have it now. Looks to make a play over to Ayafalo. Moves it to Ehlers. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Georgiev. That knocks him off the puck. Here's a chance, fires the wrist shot. And a great read to turn that play aside. Winnipeg's got the puck against the half wall. With the blast! And that got caught up in traffic and goes off the stick. Answers it with an even better save! Still plenty of time left in this frame. We are all tied up in this one. Setters jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Poked away in the defensive end. And some good footwork to kick it away. And some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. With possession along the wall. Big play inside the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Niederreiter. Snaps it the side. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly. You've sensed an upward trajectory as this game's progressed, and they find the back of the net. Well, he certainly looks frustrated after letting that goal in, James. It's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it, and then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. The Jets have gone in front by one here in the second period. Yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset when you're ahead by one in a very close deadlock game, James. Now they got to push the pace, put the pedal to the metal, and try and figure out a way to cash in again. Takes a spill out of the on. ice and loses the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves the 
pump down low. And it's a quick pass to Morrissey. Appleton's been feeling it, James. He got the go-ahead goal, and now the puck's on his stick. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Gets the puck in deep. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Now over to Barron. The Jets looking against the half wall. Shot! Misses the net and will play on! Well, you work so hard to get these opportunities, and you have to find a way to execute and take advantage of your position on the ice. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, the Jets are looking to build on this one goal lead. McKinnon's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Feeds it over to Rantanen. The Jets gain control of the puck. Chance in front! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Into the offensive zone. Great stop by Georgiev. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Stopped by the goaltender. And now it's grabbed by Taves. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Rantanen. Great hand eye to knock the puck down. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Colorado's got him along the wall. A skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Scoring feed! Picked off in front. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Hammers a shot. That won't go as that goes off the side of the net. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. Now a quick pass to O'Connor. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Center and feed! Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Quick pass to Wood. Slides it in front, and that goes off a stick. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Quick shot, fantastic save! Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. And he takes the dish. And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. And this is a dialed in goaltender, very aware. And Scores! And that's three unanswered goals. And as my mom likes to say, they're cooking with gas. <laughs> they're cooking with gas. And you can expect that they have put their opponents on their heels. This is a team that knows that they have worn their opponent down. Now they got to keep the pedal to the metal. Winnipeg's taking a two-goal lead here in the back half of the second. Well, they've been outstanding to start this game into the second period as well, James. I mean, they've been so creative. They've been dancing with that puck on their stick, opening up their lanes and driving the net. Pinned up along the boards. There's a chance in front! And that's stopped! Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Past the midway mark in this period. Winnipeg's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. And they win the faceoff and set up to go on the attack. Hard hit, freeze up the puck. Shot! Oh, he got all of that! What a save by Georgiev! Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Dished on over to Lowry. Perfetti's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Long jam in front, that's broken up. And he's ridden off the puck. And he coughs it up with the pass. Takes the pass. Oh, what a denial by Hillebuck. Oh, CP, you know what he wanted there. Just came up a little wide. Well, JC certainly did. He pulled it into his body, and as he corralled it, he lets it rip. But hockey's a game of inches. And that one just misses. And we play on. And that's knocked away. And we'll play on as that gets a piece of the glove. 
Hellebuck's been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by DeMello. Hellebuck's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. The Jets win the draw. Winnipeg's got the puck in the defensive end. Something happened along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Pionk. Oh, spectacular stop there! Caves moves the puck. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. The Jets look to start the transition game. From one point man to another. Stops and cold. Moves it quickly over to Malorny. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Slides it quickly to Gerard. Big time hit against the wall there. Wow, that was a tough one, man. That was thunderous, and it even broke a pane of glass. There's going to be a stoppage in play here. Late goings of this period. Winnipeg's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Sends a pass over. And that's blocked away. Quick feed to Eels. The Avs take it along the wall. Winnipeg's got the puck along the boards. The Jets moving ahead. Here's a short pass to Eels. A field front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Moves it to the middle. And oh, what a chance. And he fanned on the puck. And that's broken up. Puck scooped up by Ehlers. Sandberg stick handling in his own zone. Change up, change up. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Grabbed along the board by Drouin. Sends it across. Big time stop by Hellebuck. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Winnipeg's won the draw. Great reach with the stick by Johansson. Slides it up front. Passes on over to Sandberg. Jabs the puck away. Makar's got it in the defensive end. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Moves it to Parisi. Stick. Colorado's moving it along the wing. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. The Avs have it against the wall. Angles it over to McKinnon. Here's an odd man rush. Slides it over to Perfetti. Dumps the puck in. Slides the puck over. The horn, 40 minutes in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players, ice, and we'll be back with a third period next. Hey fans, don't forget to get the seats you want to the games you want by purchasing one of our six game ticket packets today. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Winnipeg's leading in this high-scoring, high-flying game, but I gotta tell you, the goaltenders on both sides, they must absolutely hate it. It's a 200-foot game of odd-man rushes and back-and-forth play. Battle along the boards. Colorado's got a hold of the puck now. Granton has got the puck. The Jets 
gain possession in their own end. With some open space at center. The Avs gain possession. Connors lugging the puck. Down the right side and into the zone. Trying to get back on the attack now. Quick pass to Wood. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Sends it over to Iofalo. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. He says, let's get physical on that play. And that's poked away. Lots of time left in this period. Winnipeg's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. Monahan's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Wood. With the steal. Still has possession. Scooped up along the wall by Monahan. He got all of that change one. Change up, change up. Feeds it up ahead. The Jets get a hold of it. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Picked up by O'Connor. Can't get a hold of that pass. Quick feed to Ehlers. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. breezy has been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. They got a chance to make something happen here on the delayed penalty. Extra attackers out. The Jets are going to be short-handed as they are called for tripping. Ronson ends out there for this shift, guys. And with the team trailing, let's look to him to use his zone ability to try to get some chances here. Winnipeg's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Gets it out of his own end. Byron's moving the puck through his own zone. Oh, he'll feel that one. Great poke check on the reach. Let's get the call. The Avalanche have put themselves down a man, tripping the call. Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four -four action. Not typically that we see four-on-four -four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical damage. Oh, oh tremendous reflexes with the pad. What a stop by Hellebuck. And now it's taken by Larry. Here's a chance behind the net. The Jets take it along the wall. A chance in front. Off a stick, and they can't complete the play. Take a change. And now he moves it quickly to Gerard. Puck leaves the zone on the bad pass, and they'll be forced to regroup. Picked up along the boards by Manson. And now it's to Lekanen. Penalty expires, and they'll go to work with a man advantage. Not much, but it's still a power play. Shot! Side with the glove. Byram standing up, ready to go. And the power play comes up empty. Both teams back to even strength. And that goes off a body. Oh, and he stops that one that was served up with a whole lot of spice. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, it's 4 2. The Jets take possession here inside the offensive zone. Turned aside with the glove by Georgiev. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. The Avs still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. The Jets win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind and he's going to be the foundation tonight. And as play continues, this place is still buzzing and they're getting loud here now. Well, this is all about 
fan appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save. And everyone around you is appreciative. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? But goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. And this time, he bails his team out. Puck possession so critical in today's game. And the official ready to drop the puck right here. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. The Avalanche have it in their own zone. Into the attacking end. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Dylan's got it against the boards. Takes it up, but he's still got the puck. Here's a shot, and that carries right off the mask. Well, he was dialed in to make the save with his mask, James, but I don't know how dialed in he's going to be now. He might be a little fuzzy. Sends it down low. Slides it diagonally to Pyro. Takes the feed. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And that's off a stick. Great reach with the poke check. Battling for it along the boards. Winnipeg's got the puck. And down he goes as the puck goes free. The Jets have it in the offensive zone. Dumps it in. Winnipeg's got possession of the puck. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Colorado's got the puck. Great pressure with the stick. Johansson's got it across the line. Big time stop. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to hound the puck. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay that ringside. Hellebuck impressed me tonight. He's made the saves needed to give his team the lead, and that's exactly what you want from your star goaltender. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Gerard's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. their power play yet they've earned this opportunity they'll get another look at it look for different adjustments to be made Taves carries the puck in his own zone the Jets gain possession along the wall grabbed along the board by Monahan he got all that hit Stars on the man advantage and put one home and this is exactly why you spend so much time in practice working on specialty teams James you can see that good movement to open up lanes just to up the box there, and they're able to cash it in. The Jets are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving, holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. Takes a shot. Denies him. Walk in, walk in. And he slides it quickly to Pionk. Slides the puck ahead to Malarkin. Oh, Malarkin! Oh, absolutely clutch of the stop. Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game. And this is a one-on-one -on -one battle. And this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at. And he wins it. Scores! And my, oh my, how things have suddenly changed here. The magic of one goal and the impact it can have, James. You go from a situation where you think you're out of it, and now all of a sudden you believe you're back in it. Complete change of the dynamic of the game. The Avs don't have time on their side, but they're starting to scratch back. They're scratching back, they're clawing back, but they're going to have to take some offensive chances. D are going to have to start jumping in, opening up lanes, and creating odd man rushes. Oh, what a pass saved by Hellebuck. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Picked up along the wall by DeMello. The Jets will play for the defensive zone. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by McCarr. 
Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Carmelo. Turned aside with the glove by Georgiev. Here in the back half of this period, Colorado still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Brantonens across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Ehlers plays it against the boards. Shot, and the goaltender comes. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. Winnipeg's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Appleton. On the attack along the boards. Here's a short pass to Peter Ryder. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Oh, what a little stick lift on the play and comes up with the puck. Young's got control of it now behind the cage. Well, this game is wild, James. End-to-end -end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we, and just go with the goal calls. Now a quick pass to Drouin. Picked off by Lowry. As an athlete, you always want to try and contribute and get things going for your team, and especially when you're trailing, you want to ignite a spark. Unfortunately, though, they, he died it a little too much there, and it gets taken away. Taken by O'Connor. To the low slot! The Jets take possession in the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to Lowry. From center, they get into the attacking area. Routine save made by Georgiev. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. The Avs have definitely gone with the shoot-first mentality tonight, but they continue to trail late in this third period. Winnipeg's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, there's a great stop by Georgia. Denies him again. Take it along the wall by Sandberg. The Avs carry it along the wall. That's blocked. Scooped up along the wall. Sandberg. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. And now it's grabbed by Shifley. Knocked away in the offensive zone. What a block as he lays out in front of it. Now he slides it up to McKinnon. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Moves it to Taves. Here he is with it on net. Hellebuck's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been one of their best players all night. A reason why they're leading here in the third, James. But it's not just about the save. It's about managing the puck and making the decisions when to hold on. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Look out! Oh, a clutch save! Rips it! And that shot does cut in traffic. Gains the zone through the middle. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Puck grab by McCarr. Quick pass to Morrissey. Here's a chance. Point blank stop by Georgiev. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Comes up in the blocker save. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Winnipeg's won the face off deep in their own end. Ray Reed comes up with it. Makes the save with the trapper. Winnipeg's going to start. 
Howard with the puck in their own end. The Jets will play it in their own end. Takes the feed. The Jets play it along the wing. A shot. Oh, what a great glove save on the play. Colorado's got possession here in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Makar. And he slides it quickly to Taves. Puts it on net. Gets it front. Jocelyn for the puck and it's knocked away. Here's a blast. Big save right at the end. And we are all over with this one tonight. A 3-0 series lead. You gotta have all the confidence in the world based on history here in these situations. Oh yeah, I mean, you're up three to none and you just have to find a way to close it out and have that killer instinct. You really don't have to do much different. You've been the better team all series long. You just gotta go see it to the end. Thanks so much for joining us for this postseason action and we will see you at the next playoff game. See you, everybody.